How much would you pay to own one of the most luxurious and exclusive supercars on the planet? 100,000? 500,000? How about a million? Even then, you likely wouldn't come close to what some celebrities have paid for the ultimate status symbol on four wheels. When it comes to high-end hypercars and super-fast supercars, a few companies should come to mind first. Bugatti, Ferrari, Koenigsegg, Rimac, and Pagani, among others. These manufacturers have cemented themselves as the top dogs in the supercar and hypercar space, extending to their wealthiest clientele the fastest, rarest, prettiest. And in this case, these are the 25 most expensive cars on the planet. Lamborghini Countach. The name Countach may be iconic, but is it worth $2.6 million? That's what Lamborghini hopes you will spend on its new Aventador-based model. Debuting in August of 2021, the Countach LPI 800 4 has a 6.5-liter V12 with a light hybrid assist that gives it a whopping 803 horsepower, allowing for a 60 time of 2.8 seconds and a top speed of more than 220 miles per hour. When it debuted the Countach LPI 800 4 last year, Lamborghini brought back to life one of its most legendary model names, the Countach. First introduced in prototype form as the Countach LP 500 way back in 1971, the V12 Countach went into production later that decade, wowing the world with its extreme wedge styling and scissor doors. But the last Countach rolled off the production line in 1990. So when Lamborghini unveiled a reinvented modern Countach last year, fittingly called the LPI 800, for to commemorate the nameplate's 50th anniversary, it was an historic event. The question remained whether it was worth the $2.6 million price tag. That muscle propels the reborn Countach to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds on its way to a 221 miles per hour top speed. And Lamborghini plans to build only 112 examples ensuring the exclusivity hypercar buyers demand. Mercedes AMG Project 1 Mercedes has promised a production version of the Project One hypercar for quite a while now. The first official announcement was in March of 2017 before the first concept debuted later that same year. But after nearly five years of teasing, it appears as if Project One will finally hit public roads. And when it does, the hybrid hypercar will have over 1,200 horsepower and a price tag of $2.7 million. When Mercedes-AMG first unveiled the Project One concept back in 2017, the automotive world was stunned by its technology and performance claims. The company promised to bring its Formula One hybrid powertrain know-how to a road-legal supercar using a similar system found in its championship-winning F1 cars. Yet the final production spec Project One revealed recently was worth the wait. Under the carbon fiber skin, the Formula One derived 1.6 liter turbo V6 and four electric motors produce a combined 1,275 horsepower, good for a 0 to 124 miles per hour sprint of just 15 seconds, plus various aero modes that increase downforce up to 1,100 pounds. Only 275 will be built with first deliveries finally happening in late 2023. The $2.7 million price reflects all that racing technology and performance packed into a road car. While the sticker shock may seem high for a Mercedes, it pales in comparison to the $50 plus million budget cap of an actual F1 team. So for well-heeled racing fanatics who pine for true Formula One road cars, the Project One is a relative bargain in the hypercar realm. Hennessy Venom F5 Roadster The same Hennessy Venom F5 hypercar we all know and love, but with less roof. The F5 Roadster has the same twin-turbocharged 6.6-liter V8 as the coupe, producing the same 1,817 horsepower and 1,193 pound-feet of torque. Hennessy estimates a top speed of over 300 miles per hour, but if you want one, it will cost you at least $3.0 million. The Texas-based tuner shop Hennessy Performance Engineering has been unlocking insane horsepower levels from cars for over 30 years but until recently had never built a vehicle entirely from the ground up. That all changed when founder and CEO John Hennessy unveiled the Venom F5 hypercar in 2017, promising to break speed records. 
Equipped with a bespoke twin-turbo 6.6-litre V8 churning out 1,817 GP, Hennessy claimed the Venom F5 would exceed the 300 miles per hour barrier, a feat no production car had ever achieved. By late 2021, a modified version called the F5 Revolution did just that, hitting a verified top speed of 301.07 miles per hour and establishing Hennessy in the hypercar big leagues. Hennessy only plans to build 24 copies of the Venom F5 Roadster, each with a base price of $3 million. For that kind of cash, owners can bask under the open sky as the 300 miles per hour wind blurs thanks to one of the most powerful production engines ever dropped into a road car. Koenigsegg Jesko The Koenigsegg Jesko, apart from being the fastest car the company has made to date, is also the most expensive. At $3.0 million out of the box, the handsome hypercar has one 600 horsepower courtesy of the brand's ubiquitous twin turbocharged 5.0 liter V8 engine. Opt for the absolute model, and the Jesko, in theory, will be able to hit 300 miles per hour. Koenigsegg has been pushing the boundaries of hypercar performance for two decades. But the Swedish manufacturer's latest creation, the Jesko, takes things to a completely unprecedented level both in speed and price. Named for the founder's father, the Jesko debuted in concept form at the 2019 Geneva Auto Show. It's powered by an evolution of Koenigsegg's tried-and-true 5.0-liter twin-turbo V8, now producing 1,600 horsepower on E85 biofuel. For context, that's about the same output as an IndyCar, but with triple the torque. Of course, all that requires larger turbos, upgraded internals, and other enhancements to handle the extra output. Koenigsegg will offer the Jesko in both track-focused absolute form with longer gearing to achieve the mythical 300 miles per hour top speed or standard trim for those who actually want to make use of that quadruple digit power around curves. Just 125 total will be built at a cost of $3 million each, making it Koenigsegg's most expensive model ever. Aston Martin Valkyrie The upcoming Aston Martin hybrid hypercar hasn't even hit the market yet, but already the $3.2 million Valkyrie has sold out. For what it's worth, Aston Martin hasn't officially released pricing. Estimates suggest the hypercar could go for anywhere between $2.6 and $3.9 million, but $3.2 million seems to be the magic number. Whatever the case, this machine is impressive. Its Cosworth-sourced 6.5-litre V12 produces 1,160 horsepower and 664 pound-feet of torque, meaning its top speed should be well over 200 miles per hour. The company will build just 150 examples of the standard Valkyrie, with a limited 25-run AMR model arriving later. As a small independent automaker, Aston Martin had long dreamed of developing their own hypercar equal to the likes of Porsche, Ferrari and McLaren. But lacking the financial resources or engineering capabilities, they needed help turning the Valkyrie from fantasy to reality. So they turned to Formula One, tapping ace designer Adrian Newey and the racing expertise of Red Bull Advanced Technologies. The Valkyrie was born as a street-legal rocket ship for the road. Power comes from a bespoke 6.5-litre Cosworth Vive 12, hitting a stratospheric 11,100 revolutions per minute, aided by a hybrid battery system cribbed straight from F1. Output is rated at 1,160 GP, propelling the sub-2, 200-pound spaceship to 60 miles per hour in under 2.5 seconds and beyond 225 miles per hour top speed. Only 150 road cars at $3.2 million plus 25 track-only AMR pros will ever be built. For well-heeled collectors who missed out on the iconic F1 road car of the 1990 ES, the Aston Martin Valkyrie may be the closest they'll ever get to owning their own modern Formula One racer for the street, Lycan Hypersport. Dubai-based W Motors shocked the world with its edgy Lycan Hypersport supercar in 2013. With titanium LED headlights housing 415 karat diamonds and a holographic display in the center console, it's no surprise it was the third most expensive car ever when new. It falls to number six on our list here, but it's still a wild hypercar with a powerful heart. The twin turbocharged 3.7 liter six cylinder engine underhood produces 780 horsepower and 708 of torque. 
when the Dubai-based manufacturer W Motors unveiled the Lycan Hypersport at the 2013 Qatar Auto Show, its over-the-top specifications made headlines everywhere. Packed with technology and luxury amenities more common on a luxury superyacht than inside a supercar, the limited-run Lycan demanded attention. Case in point, the LED headlights encrusted with diamonds, specifically 420 15 carat diamonds totaling nearly 100 total carats worth around $2 million alone. Add to that interior details like gold stitching on the Alcantara seats, customizable 24 carat gold detailing options, and a holographic center console display, and the $3.4 million price almost seems reasonable. Underneath the opulent exterior, the Lycan Hypersport is a legitimate supercar, a twin-turbo 3.7-litre flat-six pumping out 780 horsepower rockets, the Lycan to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds and a top speed of 240 plus mph, plus high-tech elements like an active rear wing and scissor doors that lift open like Lamborghinis. McLaren Solus, one seat, 829 horsepower and a top speed of over 200 miles per hour. The new McLaren Solus is about as close as you can get to a Formula One car from the factory, powered by a naturally aspirated 5.2-litre V10 engine with a zero, 62-mile-per-hour time of just 2.5 seconds. Estimates suggest a McLaren Solus will set you back about $3.5 million. McLaren could have slotted another supercar model into its Sport Super or Ultimate Series lineups, yet they chose to break the mold with the one-off Solus as a dedicated track machine bridging the gap between road and F1 race car like no other before it. With no roof, no passenger seat, and extreme aerodynamics wrapped around the driver, it promises to deliver an unparalleled track experience befitting the $3.5 million price. In many ways, the Solus is essentially McLaren's take on a Formula One car for the racetrack. An evolution of its hybrid Turbo V6 provides motivation, reconfigured here as a naturally aspirated 5.2-litre V10, spinning up over 10,000 revolutions per minute and producing 829 GP. Combine that with 2,205 pounds curb weight and the power-to-weight ratio exceeds F1 levels. Only 25 examples will be hand-built at McLaren's state-of-the-art carbon fiber facility in England, all of which have already been reserved. For wealthy owners who find even Senna or P1 track times not hardcore enough, the singular Solus may satisfy their most extreme driving ambitions. Lamborghini Sian. In several ways, the Sian represents a bridge to Lamborghini's future. Though it's based on the Aventador SVJ, this wild-looking Lambo is the brand's first production electrified offering. In addition to the SVJ-sourced 6.5-litre V12, the Sian uses a 48-volt mild hybrid system. Total system output is 819 horsepower, which also makes it the most powerful Lamborghini ever. As confirmed by the 63 stuck on either side of the Sian's wing, Lamborghini will produce just 63 units, and each will cost far more than the Aventador SVJ, carrying a price of $3.6 million. As automakers globally move towards some form of electrification, even Lamborghini has to evolve. That transition begins with the limited-run Sian FKP37 hybrid unveiled in 2019. Billed as Lambo's first electrified production model, the outlandishly styled Sian previews the brand's supercar future to come. Translated from Italian as flash or lightning, Sian combines a heavily upgraded version of the Aventador's already magnificent 6.5-litre V12, pumping out 785 GP. But supplemental electric power via a supercapacitor and e-motor system brings total output to 819 GP, the highest of any Lamborghini road car yet produced. As a mild hybrid, that power also gets delivered with ferocious immediacy the instant the accelerator is pressed. Outside, the Sian sports aggressive geometrics and scoops galore to match its otherworldly performance. Speaking of which, 62 miles per hour flashes by in under 2.8 seconds thanks to AWD traction off the line. Only 63 will be built, commemorated by the numerals affixed on each side intake. Price when new was $3.6 million, marking the start of a new electrified era wearing Lamborghini's fighting bull badge. Koenigsegg CC850 The Koenigsegg CC850 was a surprise to be sure, but a welcomed one.
Borrowing the twin turbocharged 5.0 litre V8 from the Jesco, it notches that output up to 1,385 horsepower and 1,022 pound feet of torque, a transmission that shifts between manual and automatic functions. Of course, all that performance technology will cost you $3.7 million. Celebrating its 20th anniversary in 2020, boutique Swedish hypercar maker Koenigsegg had plenty to reflect upon. Two decades of chasing speed records and supercar firsts, yet company founder and CEO Christian von Koenigsegg yearned to revisit his early aspirations founding the company. What better way to come full circle then by reimagining Koenigsegg's first prototype, the 2001 CC8S. Now revived as the CC850, this retro-inspired ride gives nods to the past while pushing performance boundaries into uncharted territory. Packing an enhanced twin-turbo V8, driving 1,385 horses, the CC850 becomes Koenigsegg's most powerful internal combustion vehicle ever. Yet power alone wasn't enough for CVK. He sought differentiation from the Jesko and other Koenigseggs, so engineers also developed a novel 9-speed transmission able to function either as a normal 6-speed automatic or 6-speed manual for ultimate driver control and engagement. Top that off with an elegant 2-seat speedster body and just 50 examples to be produced starting at $3.7 million, and the CC850 promises to be an ultra-exclusive celebration befitting Koenigsegg's remarkable journey. Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300+. Plus. Earlier this year, Bugatti captured the collective attention of the automotive world by announcing that it broke the 300 miles per hour barrier with a modified version of the Chiron. The Supersport 300 Plus is a road-going version of that car, meant to celebrate the occasion. Limited to just 30 units, the Supersport 300 Plus is a beautiful version of the Chiron, with flowing, slippery bodywork and a sweet stripe motif. Despite having hit 304.8 miles per hour on the track with a production vehicle, Bugatti does limit its Chiron 300 Plus to 273 miles per hour in top speed mode. The Bugatti Chiron had already cemented its status as the undisputed production car speed king by hitting a record 261 miles per hour in tests. Yet legendary driver Andy Wallace felt more remained on the table. So in 2019, Bugatti tasked him with taking a specially prepared Chiron beyond the magical 300 miles per hour mark many believed no road car would ever touch. On August 2nd, 2019, at Volkswagen's secret Aerolessian test track, Wallace achieved the impossible, a 304 miles per hour two-way average. For context, that's quicker than a NASCAR at Talladega. Suddenly, 300 miles per hour was possible thanks to an unrestricted quad-turbo W16, pumping 1,578 GP to those massive rear Michelins. While the plus signifies it won't attempt to match Wallace's full chat 304 miles per hour run, owners can still blast up to a limited 273 miles per hour in top speed mode. The nearly $4 million ticket to entry ensures their place as part of an exclusive club that can call themselves members of the 300 miles per hour production car club, Lamborghini Veneno. Lamborghini built just 14 examples of the Aventador-based Veneno between 2014 and 2015. Each one cost around $4.5 million, depending on how it was specced, and was available in both convertible and coupe configurations. Underhood Lamborghini fitted a more powerful iteration of the Aventador's 6.5-liter V12, now producing 740 horsepower and 509 pound-feet of torque, which gave it the ability to sprint to 60 miles per hour in a blistering 2.9 seconds. To date, it's the most expensive new Lamborghini ever. Unveiled at the 2013 Geneva Motor Show, the Lamborghini Veneno marked 50 years of Italian supercar prowess. Its wild styling and stratospheric $4.5 million price instantly made headlines around the world. But this Lamborghini wasn't just about flash. The Veneno had substance to back up those looks and cost, with hardcore track performance at its core. That started with the heavily massaged 6.5-litre V12 now churning out 740 GP, surpassing anything in the Aventador range. Combined with feathery carbon fibre construction, the coupe tipped scales under 3,000 pounds for physics-defying acceleration, speed and handling. 
capped off by an extreme Le Mans prototype-inspired aerodynamic shell and F1 spec pushrod suspension. Only five coupes and nine convertibles were ever produced, sold out immediately to Lamborghini VIP clientele. Fitted with copious custom options as desired that brought several cars to over $5 million. Yet no matter the specification, every Veneno buyer experienced blistering performance matching the car's fighter jet styling. In the end, while the Veneno name marked Lamborghini's 50th, its owners care more that it stands today as the most expensive and exclusive Lamborghini supercar ever offered. Bugatti Belide, produced in extremely limited numbers atop the body of a Chiron, it's no wonder Bugatti's 1 of 40 Bolide track car is this pricey. At $4.7 million, the one 824 horsepower hypercar has more power than the Chiron Supersport 300 plus and more extreme bodywork that allows it to lap tracks like the Nürburgring in record time, in theory. Bugatti says the Bolide would be able to conquer the ring in record time. With the Chiron having cemented Bugatti's credentials as speed royalty on straight-line tarmac, the Mark sought a way to showcase its capabilities on the curves and corners of a racetrack. Enter the Bolide, a track only special purpose, built from the ground up, with no thought given to emissions or practical considerations, only maximum circuit performance. Extensive use of carbon fiber helps bring weight down to just 2,733 pounds, despite carrying the Chiron's familiar quad-turbo W16, punching out 1,824 GP. Yet massive gains come from radical rethinking of its aerodynamics, generating nearly 4,000 pounds of downforce at speed, along with a wide-body stance made for high G-cornering. The Belide's theoretical performance is astonishing. 2.17 seconds 0 to 62 miles per hour, 4.36 seconds 0 to 124 miles per hour, and a lap of the Nürburgring more than 17 seconds quicker than Porsche's 991 GT2 RS Mister. Of course, such unprecedented track potential commands an equally staggering $4.7 million investment from its lucky future 40 owners. Farina B95 Speedster The Pininfarina B95 Speedster is an open-top butte. Based on the Batista Coupe, the B95 has 1,877 GP courtesy of a 120, 0 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery pack and four electric motors. That means it takes the B95 less than 2.0 seconds to hit 60 miles per hour with a top speed of 186. But as the brand's first coach-built vehicle, it isn't cheap. The B95 costs about $4.8 million USD. Legendary Italian design house Pininfarina surprised the world when it announced plans to launch its own electric Hyper GT called the Battista. Named for company founder Battista Farina, the coupe boasted Formula E-derived powertrain technology, supplying 1,900 horsepower for sub 2 seconds 0 to 60 miles per hour sprints. Riding high on Batista's success, Pininfarina recently unveiled their first chance for clients to get creative via coach-building personalizations. Say hello to the B95 Speedster, drawing inspiration from iconic Pininfarina-penned roadsters of the late 40s slash early 50s. Only five examples will be handcrafted starting from $4.8 million. While the open top body is newly formed by Pininfarina's artisans, the B95 retains Batista's full electric muscle meaning owners can expect neck-snapping launches courtesy of quad motors and a 120 kWh battery punching out 1,877 horsepower. With such performance wrapped in a timeless nautical sports car aesthetic, the exclusive B95 foreshadows a new era of bespoke high-voltage Pininfarina desirability, Bugatti Mistral. The Bugatti Mistral sends the iconic W16 engine off in style. With 1,577 horsepower and no roof, the Mistral takes the best bits of the Chiron and borrows elements from the Bolide and Devo to create a truly unique roadster. Of course, Bugatti plans to build just 99 examples of the Mistral at the cost of around $5 million in the US, and all of them are already accounted for. The legendary 16-cylinder Bugatti Veyron and Chiron engines have powered the brand to icon status in the 21st century, but tighter emissions regulations threaten to retire Bugatti's beloved quad-turbo W16 in the near future.
Enter the stunning Mistral Roadster, both a tribute to the long lineage of Molsheim drop tops spanning nearly a century while sending off the mighty W16 with a proper farewell. Channeling the dramatic design language first seen on the track-focused Bolide and Devo models, the Mistral's flowing curves hide an 8.0-litre quad-turbo W16, pumping out a fitting 1,577 GP. Just 99 examples will be hand-built at Bugatti's Molsheim Atelier, all pre-sold for roughly $5 million despite scarce initial details. For deep-pocketed collectors who've owned the Veyron or Chiron already, the Mistral offers a last chance to experience open-air W16 decadence before electrification takes hold. Pagani Huayra Imola even though the new Utopia marks the next big step for Pagani, the Huayra Imola packs nearly as much power with a twin-turbocharged 6.0-litre V12 engine, producing 827 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque. The Huayra Imola is estimated to cost around $5.4 million new, which would make it the second most expensive Pagani of all time. In the hypercar hierarchy, the standard Pagani Huayra was already an exclusive vehicle with a seven-figure price tag most could only dream of. But for true ardent fans devoted to the small Italian automaker, Italian Horatio Pagani created the Huayra Imola, named after the infamous raceway. This track-focused coupe sheds over 300 pounds through increased composite usage while its Mercedes AMG 6.0 liter V12 gets pumped to 827 GP and 811 LBFD of torque, massive gains over stock Huayra output. Combine that muscle with aggressive active aero generating 1,100 pounds of downforce at speed and the Imola represents Pagani's fastest accelerating and stopping vehicle yet. Considering those half-million-dollar advancements in performance, the boost to around $5.4 million seems almost proportional. And with just five examples to be produced for ultra-passionate collectors, the exclusivity further justifies why the Pagani Huayra Imola commands more than double that of the regular Huayra Coupe, Bugatti Devo. Among Bugatti's recently debuted vehicles, the Devo is a star favorite. Though it shares much in common with its cheaper sibling, the Chiron, the Devo has a lot going for it to justify the extra money. By adding lighter wheels, a carbon fiber intercooler, and removing some sound deadening, Bugatti made the Devo 77 pounds lighter than the Chiron. Though power is unchanged from the Chiron's 1,500 ponies, the Devo features a different aerodynamic setup, which makes it eight seconds quicker around. The Nardo Test Track Finally, the moment you've been waiting for, Bugatti is making 40 examples of the car, each costing $5.8 million. When Bugatti introduced the world to the Devo in August of 2018, the purpose was clear. Create a Chiron that excels on curves not just straightaways, achieved via a 77-pound diet and reworked chassis tuning for higher lateral G-loads. But the real magic came from newly designed exterior surfaces generating 90% higher downforce than Chiron. The result is a Chiron capable of cornering speeds far exceeding what its top-speed king sibling could achieve. Putting numbers to that claim, the Devo lapped Bugatti's Nardo handling circuit a full eight seconds quicker than the Chiron. Consider too that steady state design means it loses little in an outright dash, hitting 60 miles per hour in just over 2.4 seconds. Only 40 will be hand-built by the Bugatti artisans at its Molsheim, France factory headquarters with first deliveries in 2020. Each of the lucky few who get to take personal delivery of a Devo will hand over $5.8 million for this bespoke track warrior, making it the second most expensive Bugatti model ever offered. SP Automotive Chaos SP Automotive, short for Spiros Panopolis, is a new name in the world of hypercars, but the brand's 2 000 horsepower, $6. 4 million, aptly named Chaos, has already made an impact. With a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V10, the base SP Automotive Chaos is one of the most expensive cars on this list, beating out many Lambos and Bugattis. But there's an even pricier version of this car that costs an eye-watering $14.4 million. That version reportedly packs 3,000 GP. The hypercar market has seen no shortage of six and even seven-figure offerings from established automakers in recent years. But now, a newcomer named SP Automotive aims to shake up the establishment with its own ultra-exclusive model called the Chaos. Founded by Greek entrepreneur Spiros Panopoulos, 
Just four examples will be built starting from $6.4 million. For that king's ransom, buyers get an aggressive mid-engine Hyper GT packing a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V10 kicking out 2,000 horsepower, and if that's not enough, a more extreme chaos with over 3,000 horses and priced just south of $15 million can be commissioned. Consider two tailored options like 24K gold interior trim and bespoke detailing giving each car distinct personality. Make no mistake, SP Automotive is an upstart in the hypercar arena, but by offering one of the most powerful and expensive supercars on the planet for a chosen few, the chaos ensures the SP brand will hold major weight with the global elite who can afford such exclusivity from the outset. Pagani Kodalunga The long list of pricey new Paganis ends with the Kodalunga. Inspired by 1960s Italian coach building, the stunning exterior and steampunk-esque interior, while equally stunning, are only part of what makes this Pagani so pricey. Under the hood is a twin-turbocharged 6.0-litre V12, producing 829 horsepower and 809 pound-feet of torque, paired to a 7-speed sequential transmission for a real race car-like feel. The cost for this one-of-five Pagani is $7.4 million. Pagani has attained rarefied air-building hyper-exclusive hypercars in the $3, 5 million range. Yet for their 20th anniversary, Horatio Pagani wanted a model that reflected the singular passion of Pagani's earliest cars. One bespoke creation that pushed boundaries of design, detail and driving experience into uncharted territory, budget notwithstanding. The result was the Kodalunga. Based on the Huayra but completely redesigned by Pagani's atelier, the hand-formed exterior revives 1960s Italian sports prototypes translated to modern geometry. Attention then refocuses inside to a steampunk look cabin housing a Huayra's heavily boosted V12, driving the rear wheels through an electromechanical 7-speed sequential gearbox. Just five will ever be built for true Pagani faithful, imbued with intricate personalization echoing the client's areas of passion. Given the thousands of hours lavished on these neoclassical machines, the record $7.4 million price almost feels restrained. 777 Hypercar The 777 Hypercar is an ultra-exclusive track car that has an FIA homologated carbon monocoque chassis and a stunning LMP1 inspired design. Powered by a naturally aspirated 4.5-liter V8 that spins all the way to 9,000 revolutions per minute, the 777 hypercar has 730 GP and a whopping top speed of 230 miles per hour. This track-only toy costs $7.5 million. Boutique American hypercar startup 777 Motors first appeared in 2018, promising a Le Mans racing prototype for the road. Two years later, their finished product arrived as the 777 hypercar, every bit the LMP1 refugee its renderings suggested minus the restrictions. Beneath carbon bodywork hides hallmarks of competition DNA like a full FIA spec carbon tub chassis and wishbone suspension tuned for lateral G's. Motivation comes from a bespoke naturally aspirated 4.5 litre V8 sending 730 horsepower rearward through a six-speed sequential paddle shift racing box. And with such feathery construction, acceleration and 230 plus mph top speed match the fighter jet styling. Alas, legislation means the 777 will remain restricted to track use only, but the company confirmed all 150 build slots were sold out despite the $7.5 million ask, proving well-heeled enthusiasts will pay handsomely for the experience of owning a personalized Le Mans prototype with street-legal looks if not function, Mercedes Maybach Accelero. Like many others before it, the Mercedes-Benz Maybach Accelero is a one-off. Commissioned by Fulda, a German subsidiary of Goodyear, to test its new tires, the Accelero debuted in 2004. Mercedes built the Accelero on the bones of a Maybach and gave it the same twin-turbo V12 engine producing 690 horsepower and 752 pound-feet of torque. Top speed is listed at 218 miles per hour and adjusted for inflation, the Accelero would cost more than $10 million in today's money. When Fulda Tires approached Mercedes in the early 2000s about building a show car to test its new high-speed rubber, no one expected the result would become a legend. 
but the Maybach Accelero unveiled in 2004 instantly earned icon status, captivating a wealthy Saudi buyer who paid a reported $8 million, hence its place among the most expensive cars here. First came the looks. An elegantly aggressive fastback coupe perched atop 23-inch wheels, but then the heart, a 738 LBF twin turbo 512 sourced from the Maybach 62 limo rocket science suspension tuning and sleek shape enabled 218 miles per hour top speed during testing, putting Fulda's tires to the test at extreme autobahn velocities. In the end, just this single example would ever get built, making the Accelero a genuine one of one. The lucky original buyer took personal delivery straight from Jay Leno, who famously drove it on his show. Today, most agree, should it ever sell again, the last price would seem like a bargain. Bugatti Centro Dieci Bugatti debuted the Centro Dieci at last year's Pebble Beach Car Week, showing off yet another ultra-rare, super-expensive model to the world. Limited to just 10 units, the car is a modern throwback to the Bugatti EB110. At the same time, it's meant to celebrate Bugatti's momentous 110-year anniversary. Its unique styling cues won't make everyone fall in love, but at least you won't have to worry about seeing another one on the road. Carrying a price just shy of $9 million, the Cento Dieci is one of the most exclusive cars ever made. When Bugatti was deciding how to properly celebrate its 110th birthday, rather than just rolling out special Chiron paint options, they reached further back into company history books for inspiration. The result, the Cento Dieci, Italian for 110, and a moving homage to the radical EB110 supercar of the 1990s. Limited to just 10 examples bearing a base price of $9 million, the Cento Dieci's retro futuristic skin hides much of the Chiron's mechanicals, including its quad turbo 8.0 liter W16, pumping out 1,600 GP. Yet a totally re-sculpted exterior channels the EB110 spirit, courtesy of details like the five round air scoops and wheels, inspired by its five spoke rims. Inside too, the motif continues with patterns and colors recalling the EB110 interior fabrics. With such poignant nostalgia wrapped around epic W16 power, it's no wonder all 10 Cento Dieci build slots sold out instantly. Once delivered, owners can celebrate Bugatti's storied 110 years in both style and high performance. Bugatti Chiron Profile E. While it may not look that different from a normal Chiron, the Profile E is quite literally one of a kind. Bugatti built it initially as a test for a limited run of Profile E models, but this Chiron ended up being the only example. Boasting the same one, 476 horsepower quad turbocharged W16 engine ubiquitous throughout the Chiron range, the Profile E has unique bodywork and a custom spoiler that helps separate it from the rest of the range. If the Chiron, Devo, Cento Dieci, and other special Bugattis still felt too ordinary, Molsheim has just the cure the singular Profile E. Initially intended as a styling mock-up for a potential line of Chiron-based special editions, its distinctive tail and flowing shapes resonated inside Bugatti headquarters, prompting them to finish the design study into a functional one-of-one -one showpiece. It retains the Chiron platform and iconic quad-turbo W16, pumping out a healthy 1,500 GP. But the bespoke exterior treatment featuring custom LED taillights, rear diffuser and huge active rear wing help the Profile E stand out from any other Chiron derivatives. Rumor has it, Bugatti quietly built and sold this $11 million unicorn to one of its most dedicated supporters through special back channels, making it the ultimate insider's ultra-exclusive Bugatti, Bugatti La Voiture Noire. The black car in English, La Voiture Noire, represents the absolute pinnacle of Bugatti's bespoke capabilities for their wealthiest clientele. Revealed at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show, this neo-classic coupe visually recalls the lost Type 57 SC Atlantic of the 1930s, two examples of which rank among the most valuable cars ever sold at auction. The latter example fetched over $40 million back in 2018, setting a record that even a Ferrari 250 GTO has yet to break. While the Type 57 Atlantic disappeared into history, its modern La Voiture Noire successor assuredly will not. 
Employing today's state-of-the-art engineering and design know-how, the Voiture Noire contemporized this icon's flowing coupe shape utilizing carbon fiber and aluminium over an unchanged Chiron chassis. The iconic quad-turbo 8.0-liter W16 engine therefore remains, humming out 1,500 tire-shredding stallions through a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. No official price was announced, but rumors suggested over $18 million, making this the single most expensive new car of all time. Rolls-Royce Boat Tail Rolls-Royce is back in the business of coach building with the gorgeous new Boat Tail, a successor to the stunning Swept Tail from 2017, which it's Itself cost a reported $12.8 million, the boat tail has a unique two-tone exterior, custom high-end finishes inside, and even a hosting suite, complete with a champagne fridge and built-in sun umbrella. Although Rolls-Royce doesn't officially announce pricing for one-off builds such as this, rumor has it that the boat tail cost a whopping $28.0 million new. The 2017 Rolls-Royce Sweptail was a watershed moment for the ultra-luxury mark. At a reported $13 million, the one-off coupe previewed Roll's return to the lost art of automotive coach building, crafting unique cars honoring history while embracing client imagination. The stunning boat tail unveiled in 2021 elevated that concept farther. Commissioned by a prominent European couple, boat tail's gaping rear end and intricate hosting suite add purposeful functionality to the nautical styling. From the hosting deck and built-in champagne chiller to the dual-tone blue exterior and intricate matching leathers inside, the car exudes intrinsic beauty from every angle. Rumors suggest $28 million changed hands privately for the privilege of owning the first coach-built rolls of the modern era. For that king's ransom, the owners received a vehicle like no other Rolls-Royce in history, one to celebrate the pinnacle of luxury motoring for decades to come. Rolls-Royce La Rose Noir Drop Tail. After last year's lovely boat tail, Rolls-Royce released yet another exceptionally pricey coach-built car called the La Rose Noir Drop Tail. The Drop Tail debuted during Monterey Car Week as the first of four unique Rolls-Royce Drop Tail commissions, followed shortly thereafter by the Amethyst version and wears a lustrous exterior color called True Love. Rolls-Royce rarely releases official pricing details on these special models, but at an estimated $30 million, some reports even suggest as much as $35 million, the new drop tail is one of the priciest cars on the planet. One year after the boat tail stunned audiences in Pebble Beach with its $28 million price tag, Rolls-Royce returned this August with an open-roof sibling dubbed the Rose Phantom Drophead. Shedding the previous rigidity of Rolls' limo-focused past for smooth, flowing coachwork opening at the rear, this sinister dark beauty hints at the future course of truly bespoke Rolls models. Details like including the owner's favorite flower, the night rose black into the exterior paint and throughout cabin materials show a sincere personalization. Yet beneath the individualized trappings remain hallmarks of Roll's excellence. The monstrous 6.75 liter V12 and opulent hand craftsmanship throughout. As with Boat Tail, no final transaction price was made public, though estimates exceed $30 million marking the Rolls-Royce Drophead series as the new pinnacle of high-priced coach building now on offer to those clients with every luxury imaginable except total exclusivity until now.